Hello, Taurus. We have a situation here where you know that someone is undergoing significant transformation and you know they're on their way back to you. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Taurus tarot reading. It is a general reading for May 9th through the 15th. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme. Okay. Interesting. The Red Countess and Cherry on Top. Number 21 and 26, that reduces to a three and an eight. Okay. Hmm. Red Countess, it says, deep within, you know what is true and what to do or not do. Yet there is so much noise and distraction in the world, and even at times in our minds, that listening for our inner wisdom can seem like trying to hear gentle birdsong in the midst of a rock concert. Even so, you are hearing an inner truth, and deep down you know it. Can you trust that it is safe to not only hear your inner voice, but to act on it too? Okay, this is about sticking to what you know, no matter how much someone else may want to talk you out of it, for example, because you actually know. Okay, Cherry on Top says, you are so close to success, to the final attainment, to all your efforts coming together perfectly. All that remains for you to do now is one final step, one last choice, commitment, attitude or action and your success will be complete and sweet sweeter than an ice cream sundae with a cherry on top <sighs> this is that le it's yeah last drop last step hmm that has to do with this thing that you know the plot thickens okay hmm to do with this thing that you know. Let's see what complements the Red Countess and the cherry on top. Hmm. Bring love into the situation. Interesting. That's new moon in Aquarius. Hmm. This feels like a renewal. Something you know is coming around. Some last sort of step that someone else may potentially try to talk you out of. Okay. Show me the situation with Taurus, please. Hmm. Yeah, you you know something's gonna start. You you know. You know. Someone who has that was that was Leo on the bottom strength with the nine of pentacles. Someone who's who has the courage to become single. Hmm. One more. Okay. This is getting interesting. <laughs> okay. Nine of Wands, there's that last step before the 10. Okay. Last step before the cherry on top. Knight of Swords. Two of Wands. The Chariot, Card of Cancer. Four of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Four of Cups. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Check this out. So you know that this connection is going to come back around. There you are. 
And there, there's, there's your emperor, card of Aries. You know it's coming. This chance for happiness to change in a connection, or or finally happiness to be gained in a connection. Okay. The only thing that's going to catalyze this, if the person who is supposed to be taking the action, the Knight of Swords, chooses the change. Okay, chooses the confidence over the confusion. Okay, then you could finally f close out this cycle of this thing that's always been outstanding. That's never been complete. I'm getting all that before I even read all this. Okay, Taurus, I'm reading this as you. This is your person. This is the situation. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies are still with me. Someone's moving. I'm literally hearing like a bat out of hell. Knight of Swords chariot. That is a pace if I ever saw one. You don't see them coming in. See how your back is turning you're that way? This is, okay. There's a choice point here for you. Where you have the opportunity to, f to heal a connection. Not necessarily get together with someone or get back together with someone or try to begin again or get something off the ground that didn't. No, 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 no. This is about having the chance to simply heal a connection. Heal what's happened up until this point. This is a wish. This is actually, this is actually a wish here. Wish fulfilled here. Okay. And I like how it's reiterated here and here. It's like, you're not going to see when they come in. And they're headed straight for you. This is the last step. It was the Nine of Wands on the bottom. It's the Nine of Cups here. You guys are one away from the Ten. One away from the Cherry. This is gonna be this is gonna be huge. This is gonna be huge. Hmm. And that's the bring love into this situation too. The 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 healing, the fulfillment here. That's that's how to heal the situation. I'm okay. Okay, it's, it's not bring love into the situation as in you have to open your heart to love this person again or that kind of thing. It is to see with the eyes of love and you can still do that from a detached place. Okay, you can, you can hold space for them that is loving and, and not fall in love with them, for example. Okay. Knight of Swords. Let's expand on this situation. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, okay. Big on the... Okay. Six of Wands came out first. This is someone you left because of immature bullshit. <laughs> This is a connection that was left behind because it was handled immaturely. There's immaturity and pride. Those first two cards left. And look, it is getting happier, happier and happier. The communication may start as secretive, a secretive venture, very private. Could be a Scorpio, Scorpio Leo. Hmm. Okay. What happens after the Eight of Cups? What other information on this situation? High Priestess, Pisces, Emperor, Aries, Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. This person, this Emperor has been watching you. Ten of Cups on the bottom. Oh, this is beautiful. More Scorpio energy. There's going to be an offer here that rocks your world. Just saying. Just saying. Okay. Just take that in for a second. Oh, okay. So this is really beautiful. I love this trajectory versus this trajectory. So what's happened upon your exit, this Knight of Wands has gone through a transformation. Went from knight to emperor. You knew this person was your emperor this whole time, but he didn't show up. 
as that, hence the pride and immaturity. That's, that's um, distorted masculine vibes. This is divine masculine vibes, okay? And he's been spying on you. He has been spying on you. And you know, you knew you had to walk away before because he wasn't embodying his highest self, or at least higher than he was. You guys weren't vibrating the same. So it wasn't going to work long term. So he has been spying while you've been doing awesome and being awesome. And now he's returning. There is movement in this connection, even if you don't see it yet. And what's great is that you freaking know it. <laughs> okay, two of wands. Let's expand on the two of wands, please. Ten of wands. Yes. There it is, the nine and the ten. You know. You freaking know. It's a lot of wands. <laughs> You know that the completion, the cherry, is about to be put on the Sunday. That finishing touch. This is that last wand from 9 to 10. And you're standing there watching this happen as they're lining up the wands. Like, okay, just the one more. I know it's going to happen. And then it's done. And then this is complete. Whether you choose to move forward with it or do whatever, that's on your own thing. The point is to for this to come together to be healed. Okay. Oh, four of swords. Let's expand on the four of swords, please. There you are. Hierophant. Four of wands and four of swords. Strength, Leo. Page of wands. Oh, so they're no longer stuck. That's nice. So this person, this, this, okay, this masculine has been, this is really beautiful here, actually. So cycles start with the ace of pentacles, with the aces, and they end with the tens. And in the middle is a whole lot of love. This tells me that this person is used to operating in comfort in physical means, okay? They could have a really great job, really great career, make a lot of money. They, so they may lead with a, with a physical gift. Okay. In order to initiate the start of a whole cycle with you. That's what they want. They want a whole cycle with you, however long that is. Okay. But the funny thing is, is after the gift, the love really takes root in this cycle. Okay. And I'm getting that it's not far after the Ace of Pentacles is offered. It doesn't take this long. It takes like a breath after that ace of pentacles. Okay. Okay. So here, more fire energy. Tons of fire energy. Um, four of wands, hierophant, uh, four of swords. There's, I love how you are in the middle of these fours. So there's some stable numbers. Okay. And it looks like you have resolved yourself to that there has been a path of you healing yourself after you took this path to exit. Okay, there you have done a lot for yourself by your own courage, by your own mental, emotional fortitude. Okay. And so when this communication comes in, you're just like, Oh, here it is. Yeah, that was supposed to arrive today. What does it say? <laughs> and even if you've blocked this person in your phone, you might want to check your DMs on Instagram or something because the, they're going to find a way to resurface in a way that's not creepy. Okay. Nine of Cups. Let's expand on the Nine of Cups, please. Magician. Empress. Yes. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. There's that Ace of Wands again. Again with Scorpio energy. Someone has transformed like a mofo. Okay. 
big time. Big changes. Tra- death and rebirth transformation. Change. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, okay. And here you are showing up. Taurus, Libra, card of the Empress. Love it. So because you have reached a level of mastery, you know how to manifest what it is that you want. This is why you're sitting there nice and quiet, just waiting, knowing, oh, wait. He's going to show up in like three, two, one, and then here he is. (laughs) So it's actually you manifesting this wish fulfilled, you manifesting this communication. That doesn't mean you initiated it. That's what you know how to do. You know how to manifest without initiating. Because you don't have to initiate anything to manifest. You don't. If you know what you're doing, you could do some pretty, pretty awesome stuff without actually lifting a finger. Right. Okay. Let's see what's going on with this masculine energy. And you now have. Wow. You have the high priestess and the hierophant. That's a spiritual couple. And you have the emperor and the empress. That's the highest 3D relationship couple already. Wow. Okay just notice that (laughs) all right let's let's expand on the chariot please tell me about this movement literally could be getting in a car boarding a plane the chariot can literally be about the vehicle the method of transportation it's definitely moving forward okay there's that ace of pentacles holy shit that ace of cups (laughs) hangman in the same row Ace of what? Whoa. Ready to fight for it. Ready to fight for it. What did we finish? Oh, finished a toxic love connection. Yes. A toxic love connection is now over. Okay. This, this masculine has liberated himself. Congratulations. That can be a very difficult thing to do. So moving into... This is crazy. (laughs) The only one we don't have is the Ace of Swords. So what I'm really seeing with here is that he is really trying to lead with gifts. I mean, his this is coming in so strong for him. If if you guys have ever read the book, The Five Love Languages, his love language could literally be gifts. Okay. And I, I just heard that's why he brings the good stuff. <laughs> so this is someone you know that they always bring, like they, you know, someone hosts dinner and he brings a bottle of wine. It's like a $200 bottle of wine, for example. You know, everybody's not going to be like that. The one thing that he sees that he's holding back on just a little bit, something about him knowing it's best to lead with the gift and the emotions versus the passion. He's going to hold up on that for a little bit until he sees how you respond to these first. Okay. He'll sit tight with this. Okay. Until he knows that you're in it too. Okay. Exciting. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Let's expand on the Queen of Pentacles, please. Okay. Try again. There we go. The Lovers, Card of Gemini. Oh my God. (laughs) Oh, he loves you. (laughs) Oh, that's so cute. (laughs) That's so cute. I just felt my heart go, oh. (laughs) Oh, yep. Take that leap of faith. Uh, Something with a Queen of Cups is over. Over, over, over. Yep. That is so beautiful. Aw. Okay. Four of Cups. (laughs) Let's expand on the Four of Cups, please. (laughs) Oh, okay. Eight of Cups. Page of Swords. Okay. I see what this is. So he's going through a lot of mental chat. Yes. Okay. He's going through a lot of mental chatter of, 
Should I enter this way? Should, what like about strategy? How do I come into her sphere in a way where she won't run screaming or just reject me outright? So that's the main reason. Well, actually, it's not the main reason. It's, it's one of the main reasons why he's been spying. He's been wanting to know the best way to approach so he doesn't freak you out or piss you off. Okay. And because of that, he because he's so much in his head about it, he hasn't been moving forward with it. But what's happening here, there is healing about this cyclical mind bullshit that's being healed. Manifested and healed. This is awesome. <laughs> This is walking that soulmate twin flame sort of line. So this is the opportunity to bring love into the situation that perhaps wasn't voiced before. Because that there's a Queen of Cups with a tower next to her underneath the deck. So this is acknowledging that this is a very 3D and 5D connection. Something has happened with this masculine that has made him go from Knight of Wands to Emperor. That's a huge leap. And for those of you who this person, this emperor was with someone else, it's not that you should thank that person, but consider this. They learned what they needed to learn in order to transform to be what it is that you need while being in relationship with them. Because when we are in our karmic relationships, they are basically like test tubes pour all kinds of ingredients, see what blows up and what doesn't. And you and you know what to fix the next time. The next time you do it again, you know what to do better, right? <sighs> anyway, okay, is there anything I need to expand on before I go to the extended? This was pretty clean cut. Been watching you, trying to... Uh, they, his heart is in the right place. I mean, some of you, some of you might actually get a proposal. If not this upon re-entry, then like shit within six months. <laughs> it's he's he's that like on point. I gotta applaud this guy. He's he's solid. He's totally solid. Anyway, okay. I'm gonna head over to the extended. I'm gonna see what's going on with this Knight of Wands Emperor. Let's just call him Emperor. It looks like he has earned his role. I'm going to see what's going on with this emperor in his current energy. I'm going to see what's going on with him in the near future. And I'm going to see what's going on with this connection, what the final outcome of it will be for this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about this connection, messages from this emperor, as well as timing, Feel, fall, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below, and I'll see you guys over there.